Hey, this is Sour Savior, and today I'm going to show you how to make a rail-based uh, multi-furnace array, or super smelter, uh, like the one that I use in my survival base. Uh, a while back, you can see in the distance, I showed you the very simple version of a super smelter that just uses two furnaces. Uh, this one that I've built here uh, currently has four, but it's uh, actually expandable pretty much to any size you want. The one I use in my base uses 32 furnaces um, because each deposit from the hopper mine cart leaves two items in each furnace and I thought having an even stack uh, for each use was a good size to have. But here I've just built four but as you can see the rail extends out so if any of these blocks were replaced with hoppers, you could have the furnace and hopper extending underneath them. Uh, another note, for the purposes of this demo, I just have these hoppers for fuel input. The version of this that I use in survival has an automatic bamboo farm that feeds directly into these, but you could also set up a parallel rail system uh, from a separate input that would just feed uh, your fuel blocks uh, into these hoppers in the exact same fashion that we're fe feeding our ores and whatever other thing you need to cook uh, into the hoppers up here. So the core of it is just I have a container and I use a barrel because I like that you can't see around the edges of a barrel like you can with a chest. So it makes it easier to do something like this, where you can completely hide the uh, workings of the machine for your day-to-day -day use. So you load up your smeltable items, like your iron ore, your raw cod, or your kelp, into this barrel. And they feed down into the minecart with hopper that's underneath. And when you've got a stack of items fed out or if the hopper cart is full and the barrel is not emptying any further then you activate it by pressing the button. As this cart passes over these hoppers with the powered rail uh, it's going fast enough that exactly two items are deposited each time it passes. And the reason it keeps coming back automatically here is an extra little circuit that I've put in where if you have a detector rail that is next to a comparator then it will give out signal if the hopper cart still has something in it. So it's coming back full so it's giving the signal to the comparator and then I have this amount of repeaters here is enough repeaters to delay the signal long enough that a hopper mine cart will pull a full stack plus six items out of the barrel. Uh, unfortunately reducing it by one tick makes it only pull 63 items so uh, it's better to have a little extra than not enough and in any case once the hopper mine card is full it stops pulling anyway. Now right now it's only depositing eight items so it comes back pulls eight items and goes again and then the signal finally reaches this powered rail and sends it back out. Now this this circuit is optional. You could also just manually hit the button again um, whenever the hopper mine cart comes back into the station if you only want to send out uh, exactly the amount of items that you want but I find that my main goal with one of these is to have as little input from me as possible after things get started. And then the next major part of this is of course the item return, which is super simple. You just have a row of hoppers feeding into each other and they head on back to the barrel. And as you can see, we've smelted up 52 of these ingots already and they're going to keep coming in in batches of four 
with uh, the full 32 array. They've come back in batches of 32. And I find that this hopper line is slow enough that after that initial 32, it just is constantly filling with items. Uh, and that's really how the whole thing works. You just, you know, you lay down your powered rail that gets powered by either this button or the detector circuit, which again is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine full length repeaters if you want 32, um, if you want the full 64 stack for 32 furnaces. If you have a smaller setup like this one, you could easily have uh, many fewer of these, but this is the size that I use on survival, so I wanted that to be the size I demonstrate here. The barrels are totally optional. Uh, you could use chests if you want. The choice of barrel over another container was uh, strictly an aesthetic choice. And then you just feed the hoppers into the back of the chest. And since you're using rail, it lets you have things level like this on the interface side since you can bring the hopper minecart up in order to reach uh, whatever height you need everything working at so that your item return works properly. And that's it. That is how I smite, smelt items in survival. And other than being resource intensive, it's very simple to build. And thank you for watching.